In this video, we are going to start graphing some parabolas, um, and we're going to figure out what direction and everything that we got going on. We're going to answer, we're going to figure out where the vertex is, we're going to figure out the axis of symmetry, focal point, and the directrix. So we're going to sketch it, answer all these questions. Now, the first two that we're going to do here are going to be centered at the origin. And then after that, we're going to do some other problems that are not centered at the origin, where we'll have to complete the square. So, first thing is, um, we have a look going on. So, we're going to have to determine whether uh, we need it to look like this or this. Okay, so since the x is being squared, we're going to want to get the x squared by itself. All right, and that's just something that's different than what you may potentially have seen. Um, well, maybe not. So. Um, yeah, so normally you kind of get y by itself, but in conics, it's helpful to get the x squared piece by itself. So, this equation, we're going to need to take this negative 1 12th, and we're going to need to multiply the reciprocal over to the other side. So, that makes this equation, if we get the x squared by itself, um, that makes this equation look like a negative 12y. So, x squared equals negative 12y. All right, so this is telling us that it's an up or down um, parabola, and then this is gonna help us figure out um, where we're gonna put our vertex and where we're gonna put our focal point. So right now, um, our vertex is just going to be at zero, zero. Um, and the reason is, is that we don't have any adding or subtracting pieces on here. We don't have any H or Ks. Um, that'll happen in another video, but right now our vertex is just going to be at zero, zero. So our graph is this, and then the next piece of this is we need to figure out our P, because our P value, if it's positive, we're going to go up whatever distance that is. If it's negative, we're going to go down, and that's going to pretty much direct us to what direction this thing is going. Well, this is this piece. So we're going to take this. This is the 4P piece. So the way I look at it is I'm just going to take... 4p and set it equal to negative 12 and then solve for p because p is going to be my distance so um, I'm going to divide by 4 so p is going to equal negative 3 so that tells me the direction that I'm going so for my parabola I'm going to go down 3 and that is going to be my focal point so my focus is going to be um, 0, negative 3. Okay. And then, um, if you remember from our last video that we have, um, whatever our focal point is, our directrix is the other direction. And then if that distance is 3, which it is for us, then it's going to be out 6 in either direction because it's twice whatever that distance is to the focal point. So, I can draw a couple things now. So, I can draw that um, my directrix is going to be here. Okay, so that is the directrix. And my equation for the directrix is we're at a height of 3. So, it's just y equals 3. And then um, this distance is 3 negative 3. Um, so we're going to go out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, because it's twice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that gets us a rough, accurate sketch of our shape of our parabola. All right, so that distance is 6. And then we have our focal point, which is at 0, negative 3. We have our directrix, which is y equals 3. Our axis of symmetry just cuts right down the line here. So that's just an x equals 0. Okay. So our standard form for the equation is kind of what we manipulated here. It's x squared equals negative 12y. All right. So that gives us everything we need. So that was our first graph. And then we'll do one more. Um, so this one. This one is a left and right kind of a graph. It's already set up in standard form. Perfect. So that is 6x. So remember that that is your 4p term right here. 
So I take 4p, set it equal to 6, divide by 4, p equals 3 halves, which is graphing wise 1.5. So because again we don't have any adding or subtracting pieces, our vertex is at 0, 0. Um, our focal point we're about to figure out. So our p-value is positive, and this is a left and right graph. So our focal point, or our vertex is here, so we're going to go out one and a half. All right, so your focus is 1.50. And then um, if that distance is 1.5, then this will be out three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that gives us a little bit of an idea of how wide or narrow our parabola is. Okay, and then this was 1.5, so this will be 1.5, and that's our directrix. Again, the idea is if this is 3, then this should be 3 down to here. If that's 3, then this should be 3 down to here. So our directrix, the equation of that is y equals, no, x equals, because it's a vertical line, x equals negative 1.5. And then our axis of symmetry, just kind of cutting through the middle here, and that is just going to be a y equals 0. Okay, so that was graphing um, parabolas, and we had a vertical parabola because we manipulated this so we had x squared so we knew it was going to go up and down because that ends up being negative which makes your p negative that p directly corresponded to what how far we went to get to the focal point um, and then the other direction is where our directrix is and then on this graph ours open to the right because we are having y being squared so since y was being squared it was going to open left or right our p value is going to be positive in the end here so that meant we went 1.5 in that direction. Okay, so that was a little bit of an introduction to graphing um, parabolas. And then the next problem, we're going to start to shift the center around.